Well, we have finally, we have found something with spots. It's not what we intended all day, but hello, little one. Is that tasty milk? Yes. So <laughs> you can see that it looks like Intima that's out at the moment. And then that must be Ribbon that's lying down. And Intima's having a really good feed. Ribbon looks as though she's absolutely exhausted at this stage. Now, it's difficult to see exactly who it is because it's pitch black. It's we're in infrared and it's difficult for me to see what's happening. I can't see any signs of any of the other hyenas. They're lying right on the two track as you go towards the den. So I've got no clear view of the den itself. So I don't know if the little one is around or if January might be here. I'd suspect just given how yesterday played out that maybe January is already out and walking around on its own accord looking for food. So it just leaves little Intima with Ribbon and you can see Ribbon's got quite a nice full belly so she must have found food somewhere and Intima looks as though she's very happy having a really nice suckle. So at least we found something. It also sounds like just north of us there might be some Ellie's. I heard some breaking branches just now which is good news for the morning. Hopefully they'll still be around and I'm super glad that at least the hyenas are here for us to at least get some reward for our work. Sorry Craig, I haven't given you much to film today so you at least got something now. And I would imagine this is the last sort of feed for Intima before Ribbon gets up and starts moving. We know that Ribbon spends a lot of time around the camp so I'm pretty sure this little cub is going to get some milk now and then once it's suckled it'll go back into the den and will then go and have a good night's rest. But don't you love the way that they lie? Look at how that back right leg is almost tucked underneath it. It's almost contortionist like. We were talking earlier about the kudu's ability to groom all the way near the tail. But this hyena is pretty interesting too, just the way that that foot doesn't look comfortable at all. But it seems like this little cub is fairly happy the way it is. And you can see her spots are getting quite bold now. So she's lost that more black coloration and now is getting spots all over it. It's very peaceful at the den itself. It doesn't seem like they're at all perturbed by the branches that were being broken. They will probably know that it's elephants and nothing that they need to worry about at all. And that's why she's still fast asleep. And wherever she's been, she's definitely managed to find food last night. There you go, you're awake now. No, back to sleep she goes. You can see her rate of breathing is quite fast and that's an indication that she's got quite a full belly. Now I believe a lot of you are saying how sweet this little cub is. It is very cute. I'd love to see the little one out as well. We had it yesterday morning but it was such a brief sort of glimpse of its head poking out of the hole. I would love to see it running around and playing because I would imagine it's also super cute and it would be nice to see it kind of venturing. It is a little bit dark for that one. That one's still quite young and so it shouldn't really be venturing out at night. It should be staying very close to the hole and probably lying just at the whole area but I don't want to go any further forward and disturb these two because well mom looks as though she needs the rest and cub is very happy suckling away there and getting the nutrients it needs so definitely won't be disturbing that situation. But this IR is absolutely astounding. It amazes me that we can sit here with almost zero light and have such a clean picture of these two. It just opens up a whole new world. Theoretically if we were on a game drive we wouldn't be anywhere near here because the lights could potentially attract other predators but we're sitting here with absolutely no lights on whatsoever and that means that we can sit and not disturb these guys at all. So it really is cool to have this technology available to us. And I'm pretty sure Taylor's been using it with Tinyo, which is amazing as well. And it was cool to hear Tinyo. We could actually hear him from where we're sitting and some of the other males up in the north. And then we could hear it over the radio as well when Megan was talking to us. So it was like dual surround sound from him. And it is the best sound. I was hoping that if he roared, maybe these guys would start whooping. Sometimes you'll hear hyenas whooping after lions roar, but I think it's all about nursing at this stage and not too much in the way of calling just yet. But this den has already provided so many amazing sightings. The den, sorry Craig, it's my fault. I'm just to release the brake a little bit. Um, the den around Philemon's Cutline was such a hit and miss den. We used to go there so often and see very little. 
Whereas this den already seems to be a lot more sort of active. It's been here three times and had three times I've seen hyenas at it already. So it seems to be a lot more sort of productive. What is that? Is that a nightjar? Well, that's cool. Well, pity it didn't land. Oh, there it has landed. That's a brave nightjar, that's for sure. Look at its eyes. It looks it almost like it looks like a freaky bat in a way, but it's actually a nightjar. And see how big it eye, its eye is. So that gives you an indication that it's a nocturnal bird. Animals with such massive eyes like that are needed because they need to see what's going on at night. So that's why it has such a large eye itself. Now, Kobe, you're 15 years old. You want to know when will the cubs stop suckling? Oh, have you had enough milk now? Hmm? Yes. You're going to come say hello. Come say hello. Well, maybe they'll stop suckling normally. They fully weaned at about six months, six to eight months. Um, it depends on the on the female, and you'll find that most of the time, these guys try and drink milk for as long as possible because the milk is nutrient rich. Are you coming right here? You can see there's the front of the car, so we're going to lose sight of this little one. It's just a little head poking up over the front of the bonnet. Hello. Isn't that cool? It's so cool just to see these little ears over the front of the car. And the little eyes, these beady black eyes, just poking up over. Are you coming all the way to say hello? Don't you bite my tires though. So she's just here on the right hand side of the vehicle, pretty much just there. And they often like to bite tires. And so I'm just watching her carefully because I've already had to change one tire today and I really don't want to have to do another one tonight. But she's just at the front of the car sniffing around on the bumper at this stage. What are you up to? There's obviously lots of interesting smells on the front of the car. She's probably smelling all of our hands where we've been touching and varying other things. You never know what other animals have walked up alongside there during the night. And that's what she's busy sniffing at. But we can't see her at all just yet. She's going to come around now, Craig, hopefully. It looks like she's coming around towards where the tire is. So I'll just try and move out the way a little bit. Hopefully she's going to come. But she should, if she does appear, she'll appear just where my finger is, somewhere around this area. So that's where she's kind of was walking to. And I'm trying to just get out of the way. But it's proving a little difficult. Sorry, Craig, I just want to see where she's gone. Where are you? Oh, there you are. So, still sitting in front of the car, and it seems like that's where she's going to stay. She was, has found a little scent that's happy to smell around. And, oh, there we go, it's drifted off a little bit. She's in front now. You can see there's without the IR how dark it was, and that's when the light comes on. Now, are you going to go and investigate? It's already old enough now to go quite far from the den. You can see it's quite big. Mary, you're saying they have very strong teeth for their age. They do. They have uh, incredible teeth and jaw structure. And this little one will already be able to dispatch a tortoise and break through a tortoise's shell. I've seen ones of this age eating tortoises quite often in the summer months. So they do have strong teeth and they're able to go through quite a bit. What are you smelling? So she can move around like this because mom is here. So when mom's here, it's okay to move around and to go and explore a little bit. And you can imagine, it's like a kid that's been inside all day. It's now time to be let out into the playground. And so it wants to go and investigate and check what's happening and see how everything is going. And they're so cute when they're at this age because, well, they become naughty and they want to know everything. And this is why they come and sniff at the car and they're inquisitive and want to know what's happening. It eventually they grow out of it and you'll find hyenas like Ribbon wouldn't really worry about us too much but little Intima is still at that stage where everything is still an like adventure and wants to know what's going on. Yes we're talking about you. <laughs> Are you eating grass? And sometimes we'll see them chewing on grass. It's often if they're teething a little bit they do chew but she should be a bit old now and shouldn't have to worry too much about biting on things for teething problems and back to exploring the car again so there she goes in front now I'm pretty sure she's gonna keep doing this and at some stage I'm going to have to move so the next time she drifts away oh there she goes she goes in front of me so little one is going to come just to our side here, sorry, let me get out the way. 
Hello. What you doing? Isn't this cool? It's no more than I would say, not even a meter from where I'm sitting there. You can see my back and the little cub right here. Sorry, Craig, I'm going to try and move out the way, but I've only got so much space that I can go, no, leave my tires alone. No, hey, don't be like that. No, don't do that. So I'm going to try and keep Ruben's cub from eating my tires. And while I do that, let's go back to Taylor with Tino, and hopefully he's behaving a lot better than little Intima.